it never matters like how much you have experience in development you can show that off in interview but the first round will itself be oa and if you are not able right. to qualify then how you going to tell the interview that i have done this this and i got an on campus placement in the brillio Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas friends I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys there aaj I have you know somebody who's going to give us a really good insights of a company called Brillio so we are going to you know get to know from Akshay that how he actually started with his interview and how he ended it with the fourth round I read his article on our website of coding ninjas there were four rounds for brillio where he was you know finally selected so if you also want to read the article i'll be putting the link in the description below you can have a look at the article as well so i would like to welcome akshay and hi akshay how are you doing like hi kavir i'm doing fine <laughs> akshay would you mind giving us a small introduction about yourself so that we can start up with the shoot yeah sure kavir so like hi everyone my name is akshay anil and i graduated in this year like 2022 and i got an on campus placement in the brillio mm-hmm. so yes it's been an amazing four month journey in my first company and okay. there are some perks like which we'll discuss later in this video okay and also apart from that uh, i really like i find a passion in my teaching so i started a youtube channel of my own That's giving great. some related topics okay <laughs> moving forward akshay since you have written in the article that you had four different rounds can you tell me what all those rounds were and then we'll start you know kind of discussing every round in brief okay so the first round was like usually when you go the resume screening round mm-hmm. so our resume got selected and then actually the first round started with an oa which okay. is also an online assessment okay so there were like a bunch of aptitude questions if i am not wrong there were like 25 aptitude questions and okay. there were some questions on basic english and reasoning mm-hmm. and after that in the same test i had two coding questions Mm-hmm. and if i remember like one on some variation of hash map and another one was dp okay. in the variation of zero one knapsack i have also mentioned these details in the article you can go okay. through that all of these are in the first round of the oa yeah in the first round the okay. aptitude questions and the coding uh-huh. questions Great. so the second round began and it was like group discussion round since it was the online mode with the covid 19 Right. So everyone were given an opportunity a topic was thrown at that point okay. and you have to say something about that So okay. there were some talks about that, like if you start, like if you're the person who has started the GD, then there are absolutely some bonus points. Right. So there, there was a point there also that uh, many of them were not speaking. I don't know why. So individually, our coordinator, our senior invigilator, mm-hmm. has given the individual chance to everyone. And okay. still, I observed that there were some students which are not at all speaking. But yeah, right. I started. I took some guidance on the senior, and I started that GD. Mm-hmm. I picked the eyes. So that round got cleared. So we had yeah. the second round. Then I got qualified this third round, and it was like technical interview. Uh huh. And since if you are a CSE student, you know the all the fundamentals we required: the right. computer networks, operating system, Correct. OOPs, DBMS, and of course the coding, the DSA. Right. So like my round started with the, the OOPs concept. Like they asked me that what are the four pillars of OOPs, and then went on with DBMS. They given mm-hmm. some join queries to actually run in the compiler and show the output. Okay. So after this fundamental round got clear, they also asked the question of computer networking. I was fortunate that they didn't ask any questions on operating system. <laughs> okay, you're not you're not very fond of operating yeah, systems. Yeah, but if if they would have asked, I have given the answer. That's not an issue. Uh-huh. But still, there is a probability that you can get stuck in some topic. Just not very uh, comfortable with that. Yeah, I okay. still remember some topics. There are C four modes and all that. Are <laughs> a lot of confusing. <laughs> you have to go through okay. that. Okay. Okay. So, like oral discussion completed with this uh, three topics, and then mm-hmm. he screen uh, he he went to a resume, and there were I mentioned two projects. One was the research okay. paper I did in the university, and one was mm-hmm. another twelve month internship. So okay. he like deep down into those things that okay why and what have you done like every project and uh-huh. every detail. After this completed, he started with the coding question, <laughs> and okay. the first question and coding question comes. He first asked like oh how many data structures you are known of. Then mm. I said him all the directions like link map hash trees and all those. So he said okay, okay. So the first question he given me was like it was damn simple. He said just uh-huh. reverse history. Okay. And I thought, ah, oh, what is this question? <laughs> Why is he asking? Then okay. I realized he just asked this question to make me comfortable because I have to code it there also. Right. Okay. So the first question got weird, and then he directly jumped to the graphs. Okay. He asked me that explain the difference between DFS and BFS, and when I explained mm. him. But he also wanted pseudo code from me. 
So okay. he like open your notepad and write the pseudo code. What's the difference? How is the recursion happening in BFS, uh, in DFS, and how is the iterative method going in BFS? Mm-hmm. So these were the two questions. Yeah, and that's all. We got this round cleared. Okay. It was like pretty impressive because my first coding language was Java. I do all the code in Java. Uh-huh. So he was saying, okay, that's impressive because in industry we use Java more as right. his thing. So our third round got cleared with the technical interview, and then mm-hmm. the fourth round came with this HR round. and that was like just two to three minutes around that hr called me and he just said are you like willing to reallocate there is no thing i was comfortable with that i just said yes and he was mm-hmm. like okay he was like uh, cutting the call then only i prolonged the conversation with this thing that okay how are you feeling in this company i am a fresher and just curious to know what's your experience and mm-hmm. he was like he explained the whole journey in like super fast english in just 10 to 15 seconds okay. and she said then okay okay we great uh, to talk to you and then we had this thing and after a day i got the final result that i am selected in brilio that's great that's great okay so i want to ask you something akshay the first very oa round that had you know the coding questions and all what would you rate the difficulty level of that oa it was medium not hard okay and then coming to the second round wherein you had the gd and all was was that easy medium or hard that was not hard since it was like the first time for me mm-hmm. and i was very like uh, feared maybe you say but right. after giving it i realized that you just have to speak you were given a chance and you just have to speak anything you know they were mm-hmm. just asking that you have speaking skills or not that's right. all so it was like medium you can say medium it's there you just okay. have to speak that's all moving forward when you talk about the third round wherein you were asked the technical questions again a little bit of computer networks as well was that easy medium or hard like i will rate it between medium and hard not hard okay. but if you are like well aware of the topic because they mm-hmm. actually gave me the task to run the uh, join query right. you are not satisfied with the answer so uh-huh. like he was satisfied but he still wants to check if i actually run those queries or not correct, correct. and regarding the another thing which was that oops right and he like very really deep down into this oops concept he, he asked mm-hmm. me four pillars when i explained him then he asked me that can you do something in the code i still remember that question he asked me to explain this one compile time polymorphism yeah that's the uh-huh. question so i explained him with a example of a pseudo code right and okay. what he did he did some manipulation in my code only and then uh-huh. he said that can you apply compile time polymorphism now in this code and actually he was triggering the runtime polymorphism now so mm-hmm. it was like you are given an example he did some manipulation in your code and asked that okay what next will happen <laughs> so <laughs> that's why i said that it was above medium level okay and finally the hr round i guess was easy I uh, don't know question. I just said, are you willing to reallocate? <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> okay. So as a whole, if I ask you to, you know, tell our watching people, you know, tell the people who are watching or our uh, juniors coming up, mm-hmm. any tips to be good at clearing interviews or getting in a company like Rilio? What would be your tip and trick for them? Like I'll be sharing a couple of points. First, a point will be that uh, be clear in your this CSC fundamentals topics. that mm-hmm. into the four topics and be good in coding because then only you can qualify the oa round it never matters like how much you have experience in development you can show that off in interview but the first round will itself be oa and if you are not able right. to qualify then how are you going to tell the interview that i have done this this and all of right. that all those things right so just yeah be clear in this five topics and i think you will be good to go that's so great some time. thank you so much akshay for helping us out with this interview experience it was really nice again guys if you want to read this interview experience as an article i'll put the link in the description below you can always go and have a look at it and i really thank akshay for coming up and guiding us out i hope the people watching this would be really helped out with this interview experience and they take it in handy so i wish to shoot another video with you pretty soon akshay thank you so much for coming okay, up thank you okay. so much thank you so much for you. watching guys if you've not liked the video hit the like button and subscribe to coding ninjas i'll see you in the next one happy coding